Okay, before I go into the video, I'm going to show you what this thing does and why we're making it. Oh, let's just turn on the light so you can see. The concept of this is that you see how it flexes. As it flexes, you see the drips. See that little drip? Okay. And when the when the water hits it, it closes up like that. And then when the water doesn't when the when when it comes down, it will open up like this. And it will drip just a little bit like that. You see it? Sorry, I'm not out of camera there. But when the water, when the water hits it, it closes up. And no more dripping. Okay? It will drip just a little bit. And what you do is you drop it in here. You fill it up. And you drop it in here. Sorry, I'm trying to fill this up. Now it won't come out no more. And then you hang it at the toilet just like so okay and when you flush it I'll show you really quick when you flush it you release it out and see how it's dangling when it's dangling it leaks out okay and then you see bubbles in here like this and you see bubbles in here like this that means it's working oh okay sorry about the lighting there I don't have good lighting in my bathroom but that's what it does so all it is is just you make the, the thing out of coca-cola bottle that's it and when you flush it it wiggle around a little bit when it wiggle around a little bit it release it release the the the, the 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 my solution in here is soap plus salt pellets uh, they call it water softener or soft water softener or salt pellets another way you can do is you can put in um, uh, calcium chloride which is uh, sea salt and I believe calcium Maybe that's why they call it calcium. It's um, it's it's snow melting pellets. That's another way you can do too. But it's very easy to do. And the concept of it is just that you fill this up, and you want when every flushes it wiggles that thing, and then it releases it. So you see how all the bubbles in there. That's because it's dripping. And when the ball hits, when the ball hits, it will stop the, the drips. Now sometimes I find it, if you don't make that hole enough, I'll show you in a minute when, I, when, we, when we stop making it. You don't make that hole enough, it won't drip correctly. So that hole has to be in a certain, you know, so the, the air will fall, fall through here and it releases it. See it? It won't release until, because that ball pushes up and it, it closes that thing. So anyway, I'll do one more time before we get into, to make it, okay? See how it wiggles? Pay attention to that ball. It wiggles around. It wiggles around because the water is, 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 is releasing. So literally, you're just using a, bo a Coca-Cola Coca bottle to contain it. And then you need a, a, a stainless steel wire and then just clip around it and so it hold on to this, you see it? And I tuck it underneath here so it won't slide. Sorry, I'm not in camera. I tuck underneath here. And when you put the lid over, make sure it's 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 big enough, okay? Use a use a Coca-Cola bottle that is big enough. To fit in here because I used a bigger one because mine is really tall you see how tall this is so if you're shorter you have to use a smaller but it's the same concept okay and all you have to do is have that ball right on there stick in there 
I'm going to zoom in really close one more time before I go. See that? It stays down there and it, cl and it clogs it up. And I'll flush it where it's really close. As you can see. see right now, it's dripping. See how it's dancing around? When it dances around, it drips. And it releases the bubbles. You see all the bubbles? That's, that is salt and regular dish detergent. Just like um, something like this right here. Just liquid soap. That happened to be pink, that's all. I have green ones, I have pink ones, so I just use that for that time. But this is a, this is how I make it. So literally, that's just a, from a Coca-Cola bottle. And see, when it wiggles, it releases it. I'll explain to you when I, when I make it. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video right now. Okay, so before we go into this project, we're going to need a Coca-Cola bottle and make sure, that I stated before, if you have a smaller tub or something, you can use uh, other containers, okay, like, let me show you a smaller container. You would have to do the same concept, okay? You can literally use something like this. Just a regular bottle, but it has to be able to spin upside down because here's the thing. You don't even have to pin it upside down. You can actually use this port right here to do it too. And you can, you, you see this right here? This ring will probably help you because you can tie that to a string and it will hang on too. And this is your refill. Maybe I'll make another version of that. Okay? Just simple as that. Now, since today we're doing the Coca-Cola version, you will need a Coke, Coke, an empty Coke bottle, okay, just like that, and you need a ball, a little ball, and then you need this thing. This thing is actually it came from um, uh, a window thing where people decorate a suction cup. That's what that is. So I just use a suction cup. But literally, you can probably use other things too. But the suction, why am I using the suction cup? Because my idea is that this here, okay, and if it's not, uh, this here wiggles because see the room in there? See that room in there? Because this cap is so thin, when you make the hole, it wiggle around. And when it wiggle around, it release the water in from here. And that's what the concept is. So we just drill a hole through here. We have to step drill it. They call it step drilling. And you drill a hole through here and you put this inside and it wiggles. And then we put the ball in here. We glue the ball in here. Oh, I forgot. You need a glue gun. Okay. And some drill bits. Just simple, simple stuff. And you would put it onto here and you glue it. So when it gets stuck, when the water hits it, it closes the hole up. Okay, because it acts like a, see that part right there? It acts like a sealer for you. So it actually seals it up. And that's the concept of that. So now, the easiest way to drill into a hole like this is they call it a step up. Okay, so what we need to do, let me put these two aside. Let's, let's let's drill the hole into here. So first you need to make a smaller hole. You need about three steps. This is one, two, and three. Start with three steps, okay? So I'm gonna step one. I'm gonna drill a smaller hole right here in the center. It doesn't have to be center, but you want it to be as center as you can. Okay. There's our does first hole. Now we're going to go with the second hole. Sorry, I got a bunch of junk over here. Okay. Sorry, 
Now, I'm going to go with my third hole, which is this size. Now, there's a special tool that you got to make it a little bit bigger, and I use this right here, okay? If you don't have it, I believe is 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 uh, in the US it's called a 316 maybe hole because one eighth is too small one fourth is too small so I believe this size right here is a 316 I think I'm not sure just step it up until you, you until this section here this little round thing here fits over that's all and this thing just drills it in, you see it? So it makes it bigger and bigger and bigger every time. So I go about this big. Okay, that's pretty big. Now, you would take this out. Okay, let me clean this up a little bit. doesn't have to be perfect I just want to clean this off a little bit because we need we need this to be clean okay so it won't give us any problems remember it has to flop okay so now it's pretty nice and clean in there I think I think let me see sorry I'm dealing with low lights today It's, it's getting dark outside, so I don't get that much light. Okay, that's pretty good right there. It's a nice and clean hole. See that? Okay. Now, the trick to this is you have to get a slice into here. In order for this to go into here, you have to have a slice into there. Ooh, I'm out of camera. Slice into there. And what that does is that you screw it into the hole. Okay. Let me cut a little slice into it. You need something like this, a little snipper. And cut a slice into it. Cut like a V-shape. A little tiny V-shape so you can start. See that little V-shape right there? Hope you can see in the camera. Little tiny V-shape. Now you insert that V-shape into here. And then spin it around and around and around and around. Okay? But spin it backward. Oh, that V shape is not big enough. Let me cut just a little bit bigger. Cut a small V shape first and see if you'll be able to do it. If not, cut a bigger one like that. See that little V shape? It's like a Pac Man, Pac Man um, mouth, I guess. Okay, now the trick, the hardest part is to get this into here. I wish there's other ways, but I don't know any other ways. What I do is I take this right here, and I take this plier, and I nip it little by little by little. See it? I spin it around little by little, and it goes in. Well, you saw how I did it in the other one. Okay, let me spin that. I hope you can see it on camera. I know my fingers probably in the way, but that's the only way I I know how to do it. Plus, you're working with camera over here. Let me put this on the floor. Maybe I can screw it in from here. Okay, now try to screw it in. There we go. It's going. Oh, my lord. Going halfway, not halfway, but like, I don't know, three fourths of the way. You just have to screw in like you're screwing in a, a screw. And as halfway, you have to pry this up. Because you don't want to damage that hole either. I know, I wish there's a way for me. Maybe I'll invent something out. Maybe version 2 coming later. Maybe there's a better way to do this. I'll think of something. But in the meantime, we're going to have to go this way. 
because this is my first version I'll come up with a second version later I'll think of something else this is an easy supposed to be an easy one this is probably the hardest part of the project okay I got it in okay and you see how it wiggles see it that we need that space Ooh, sorry we need that space because as it wiggles it releases the liquid and when it pushes up it stops the liquid get it so now this is the easy part we're just gonna put a bunch of glue in the center of it Sorry, not good with the camera today. I do my best. Okay, put a bunch of glue in the center of it. Don't be afraid. This point, this one, is this, these are the easy part. The hardest part is that wiggling part to put that in. Okay, so now you got that much right there in the center, right? You just put your ball as center as you can in the center like that and let this cool down okay see it that's pretty center right there now we just have to wait until it cools down it'll take a few minutes to cool down why we're we using that ball? We're using that ball because water can, water will push this up for us. Get it? It'll push up. And by pushing it up, you see that little gap right there that it right here? That little gap. Whoo! I just got some glue in my finger. That little gap would close this for us. And it'll create a seal. So literally, by wiggling around, it actually help us to release those waters. And when it pushes up, it stops the water. Okay? So now, we're going to go and do the, um, the insulation. And I'll show you the insulation one more time, how it worked. But that's it. We're all set. Now you take your container here, fill it up, uh, my formula, okay, a handful, a handful of, this is a 42 ounce, it's one quart, one quart, okay, oh, sorry, 1.52 liter, this is the US, 1.52 liter, or 42 ounces, I take a handful and dissolve it in a container, in a glass container. Then, uh, sorry, a handful of um, salt pellets. I'll leave a picture right here so you can see. Okay, those are the salt pellets. Now, I take a handful of it. I put it in a jar, a glass jar, okay? And I mix it around and I weight it. Then I fill about, I don't know, for this one here because it's a lot bigger. I actually have a smaller version too up here. I'll link it up here. Uh, how to make the fluid. Uh, this one is 42. So about 4 ounces of, 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 of um, uh, dishwashing detergent. You can use any. It doesn't matter, okay? Because it acts as an indicator only. That means when you see no bubbles in there, that means you are running out. So basically, this soap not only help us to clean, okay, just regular dish soap. I got this from the dollar store. Dish soap not only help us to clean, but it help us to be an indicator, okay? And I use about 10%. My standard is a handful of uh, uh, salt pellets, 
which is sea salt or calcium uh, calcium chloride uh, and then uh, we need 10% uh, of this soap so whatever this container is just multiple just just can figure that out I'll leave the formula in the, in the description as well but anyway now we're all done you see how nice and dry it won't come off now you see that and see how it wiggles around we need that to wiggle because when it comes up like this air won't go through and then when it when it releases it when it wiggles it releases the the uh, the, the stuff in here now remember one more tip before I go do not make this too thick if you make it too thick it won't flow through that hole if you make the the hole big then you need to make it thick but if you make the hole small and it's really tight you make you make the your 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 liquid thinner okay just remember that and that's it that's that's how quick easy and fast that is that's all you have to do okay so that little round thing one more thing before I go that whatever round thing right there actually helps you because it may, it acts like a sealer it closes up for you when when water pressure hits it it pushes up and it seals it and that's it that's the easiest way to make a um, um, a a toilet an automatically toilet bowl cleaner by yourself and then and then now I'm going to show you the rest of the videos okay okay so here's what it looks like when it's installed okay and then you want to wind this see this little section right here that's what help us you need a stainless steel wire wrap around wrap around a few times right here and then just wing it right here and close the lid once you close your lid you're all set okay and remember you have to design according to this right here okay because mine is really small and tall I can use the bigger one but if yours is small you have to use like the 20 ounce ones or something like that and that would help too right there and remember that thing has to wiggle you see that wiggle around it when it wiggles see the liquid see when it wiggles it releases liquid and that's how you see this old bubble coming up you see that I'll do it one more time before I go see that's when you know the bubble is is releasing so when you wiggle like that you see little drip coming like this watch see it's only a little bit okay other than that that's about it and I'll do one more flush for you and you can see when it's filling up it's really nice and bubbly and that's it. That's how easy it is to design those. It's like next to nothing. Okay? Other than that, that's about it.